Hey everybody, it's me, Megan, here at Fit Life, coming to talk to you today about how your food relates to your goals. And some of us work out so that we can maintain or so that we can eat, so that we can have that glass of wine every night and we understand and have our mind wrapped around that the scale is not going to drop dramatically, the inches aren't going to go down extremely, but we're working to exercise for our overall health in general, right? And then others of us want to lose weight or firm or tone and so we have to be more strict about our calorie intake and deficit. So I look at some clients when they first start my fitness pal and they say, well when I put in my exercise it gave me more calories back. But if you're trying to get a deficit, right, you want to exercise to increase that deficit for weight loss or firming, toning, whatever it might be. I also have clients who want to gain weight or bulk up and earn uh, have more muscle and with clients like that I monitor their eating protein, protein, macronutrients and so forth. So everyone is on a different level so um, it's funny when people say that skinny people aren't always healthy or you know geez what are you eating but you can't judge a book by its cover because as long as you're exercising you are getting healthier and yes food plays a critical role in it but remember that all of our goals are different. So on your fitness journey, individualize it, and when people question you, hey, this is your journey, not theirs, right? And whenever you start a fitness journey, my quote of today says that some people might not always come along with you. So do it, you got this, achieve those goals. Thank you.